Hi, it's Alexis Hasselberger, time management and productivity coach. Now, let me ask you a question. Imagine for just a second, try to remember back, what is the environment that you are in when you last felt like, oh, you're just in a flow state, right? You are focused, you're just, you're going, you, you know, you're not having any distractions. You're just like in a total flow state and you are getting stuff done. What was that environment like for you? Now, I want to share why I'm asking this question, although maybe you can guess. So I want to share why I'm asking this question, because I recently learned that on an airplane is the absolute best way for me to write, right? I get more done on an airplane. I get more written. I write so many more blog posts than anywhere else on this planet. <laughs> I get more done than in my home office. I get just, I get so much writing done when I am on a plane, right? And so I you know, I can capitalize on that when I am taking a plane, but it's not very reasonable for me to, you know, take planes just so that I can write a lot, right? That's not good for the environment. It's not good for my budget. It's not good for a lot of things. Um, so I was thinking, why don't I try to figure out what is it about the plane that makes me be able to write so much to be in that flow state to just keep going? What is it about the plane? And then is that something that I could do to recreate it at home? right? So I could recreate that stat, that status anywhere I am so that it is not something that I can only access when I am on a plane, which is a little bit ridiculous, right? So what is it about the plane? So I think it's a few things. One, no internet, right? <laughs> so of course, yes, you could buy Wi-Fi, but I don't because I'm cheap. And so having no internet means that if I am writing, I don't have any distractions because my mind isn't going, let me go check my email. There's no email to check, right? It's just what I'm doing right in front of me. Now, also no cell service, right? So I am not able to grab my phone and start scrolling. There's no news. There's no Instagram. There's none of that stuff. There's no endless scrolls because I have no cell service either. So no internet, no cell service. There is also the white noise of the plane, right? That plane has such loud white noise. You could barely see, you can barely hear the people around you, right? That white noise is kind of like a rush in the background that helps keep everything out. And then finally, there's a time limit, right? If I'm trying to get something done on a plane, that plane is going to land. There is a time limit for me to get things done. So Parkinson's law, that work expands to fit the time allotted or contracts to fit the time allotted is at work here. So I started thinking, you know, how can I recreate that situation at home so that I can be really productive with my writing when I'm at home as well as when I'm on a plane? Now, what have I done to make this happen? I started experimenting with what would work and I found a few things that really helped. So one of them is, you know, just actually turning off the Wi-Fi on my computer. You can use, um, you know, you can use Google Drive has offline uh, offline documents and things. So most of the time I'm using Google Drive so I can write, I can do all of those things without actually um, having any internet. Right. Another thing that I do is I either turn my phone on airplane mode or better yet, I just leave it in another room. Right. I want to remove that temptation, not to resist that temptation. Right. So go there. I also find that having like a particular seat, a particular place in my house that I use for writing that signals to me, this is the place that I go. So for me, it is always a specific spot on the couch. In fact, it's a specific spot on this couch, right? There is my blanket and my coffee right there. Uh, I was writing earlier this morning and that is where that is. So having a specific place and then also lastly, recreating that time, uh, the kind of time constraint, right? So if I am going to be writing, I give myself a certain window, a certain block, and I tell myself I have to get X, Y, Z done in this time. And then I know that I am going to be invoking that Parkinson's law. So this is what I've done. I've experimented with this and you know what? I have tried it a few times and oh my God, it actually works, right? So I have been able to recreate this flow state, to recreate this focus environment in my own home, which is awesome for me because it is not reasonable for me to do all of my writing on airplanes. So what I want you to ask yourself is how can you apply this to your own life? So you might not be a writer, right? You might not write. You might not get a lot of stuff done on airplanes. That's fine. I want you to think about yourself. What is that deep focus work that you know works really well when you get into a deep flow state? Um, what type of work is that? And where do you do it best? Like if you think back, what are the times when you've been most productive? And then I want you to think about what were the elements of that situation? You might not know which ones were important or not, which elements were important until you start experimenting, right? Um, you know, I could have, I could have thought, oh, well, you know, it's really important to me that somebody is kind of walking back and forth asking me if I want something to drink. 
because that's happening on an airplane. But no, that's not actually important to me being in flow state, right? So what is it important? What was important to you about that environment? What are the elements of that environment that where you were to be able to get into that flow state? And how can you recreate that in your workspace right now? So whether that's in your home, whether that's in your office, what are some of those elements that you can pull in? Now, I want you to tell me in the comments, what is your perfect flow environment, right? Where is the place where you get the best work done? I had a client just the other day who told me that the best place for him to get through his email is in a Starbucks, right? <laughs> it's in a Starbucks. He gets more email done than anywhere else, right? So we started talking about how can you create, recreate the Starbucks experiment experience at home, right? Um, maybe that's that you are actually downloading some background noise that's like a coffee shop vibe to it, right? You know, there are other things that you can be doing. Maybe it's actually having a hot cup of coffee with you all of the time, right? Um, there, are, Maybe it's having headphones on because you do that when you're in a Starbucks environment. So there are a lot of different things that we were trying to play with to see how we could recreate that Starbucks environment, even when you're not in a position where you could go to Starbucks. Or how do you recreate the airplane experience even when you're not in an airplane? I want you to do that for yourself. And tell me in the comments how it goes or what your favorite flow environment is. If you want more content like this, you want to see me every week, make sure to subscribe. I will see you again soon. Uh, yeah, subscribe. We are so close to uh, 1K, so please subscribe.